Okay, today I'm going to show you a little something I did to cut the carbon fiber tubes on my bandsaw. Now, this is a wood cutting bandsaw, which I have equipped with a uh, variable speed controller so I can uh, change the blade speed anywhere I want so that I can slow it down for cutting this carbon fiber tube. And I've also installed a 24 tooth metal cutting bandsaw blade which will cut without catching or tearing the carbon and that all works well what I had to do though if you look here and it's hard to see with the light maybe this is a little better the position that I wanted to give me uh, good repeatable cuts with my vise was uh, in an odd position relative to the slot that they machine into this table. Also, this is an imported bandsaw, so they uh, made this slot a very inconvenient 18 millimeters wide, but that's okay, I can make my own fillers. So I made a filler out of wood, as you see, and I got that little notch in there that then when I slide the vise up to it, gives me a good close pass by on the blade. And then what I've done is back here, I've mounted a stop block so that I can set my length up and then slide it forward and make the cut. So this all has been working really well and I thought I'd share it with you and maybe give you ideas on things you can do with your own bandsaw. You'll also see that I've extended the table with a piece of wood and uh, made my own bars up so I could do that. And that really helps a great deal, obviously, for things like that. <laughs> so uh, it's certainly removable if I ever have the oddball need for that, but it tilts fully back and forth, so I'm happy with it. So let me set the camera up and I'll uh, position you so that you can watch and see how this all behaves. Okay, I think we're all set to uh, watch this. Maybe I'll position this light up a little bit so not so obviously in the frame. And uh, so turn the power on to the saw controller. I can pull the vise back Loosen the jaws, move the tube forward to the stop, and clamp it. See, I got uh, leather here to protect the tube. Now I can turn the blade on. I've got the little dowel to catch it with. So I slide it forward and make the cut. And voila! Now I can take the ferrules to the metal lathe and do the secondary operations of uh, trimming them to exact length and uh, gently chamfering the edge so it doesn't uh, stay so sharp. But I just wanted to share with you a method that uh, seems to work for me and maybe you can use it in things around your shop. Thank you much.